What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you the manual slowdown method. So in the last video, we sped up the tracks. In this video, we're gonna slow them down. So with turntables, it's really cool because you have the platter and you have the record on the top and then you have the slip mat underneath and then you have the platter that spins independently. So if you're using a CDJ or a controller, they have jog wheels and most controllers don't have independent spinning platters. There's only one that I know of that spins independently. So this is very unique to turntables and it's really cool. So all you gotta do is start the track and you're going to take your one of your fingers and let it rest on the platter and you can slow it down more or less depending on how much pressure you put on it. So right now I'm barely touching it, but it is slowing it down slightly. If I press it a little harder, it slows down more. Harder, it slows down more. The only thing that you don't wanna do is stop it like this because the motor is still running. And when it's running, you're gonna burn out the motor if you stop the platter like this. So it's really bad for the turntable. So you just wanna slow it down and practice different degrees of slowness. And it, and it sort of burns your finger. If you look at my finger, there's uh, dirt on it because you know the platters get dirty or whatever. Uh, but that shows you that you're doing it right. So if your finger feels a little tingly, uh, that's a good sign. And that's because this turntable in particular and a lot of them have these little dots right here and they're raised, so that's what you're feeling. So practice doing this method and trying different degrees of slowness. And also then try, like in the last lesson, we tried to keep it consistent. Do that with this as well. So I'm gonna try to keep it at a consistent rate. And you can do that with different degrees of slowness as well. Okay, so that was traditional vinyl. Now let's do the control vinyl on the other side with DJ software, still running Serato DJ. And also before we go into this, I want to mention why it's good to put it in this area. It's a lot easier to control whether you're on uh, the left turntable with this hand, it's in this area that I'm going to be slowing it down. And here it's in this area. You don't really want to be going like this uh, because it's a lot harder to control. You can do it, but it's just more difficult, at least in my opinion. And it also kind of hurts your finger a little more. Uh, so you have uh, a lot uh, more control on this side. You can swipe it. Or is this you're sort of pushing it? So practice both, you know? It, it might work better for you going in that direction, but for me, I prefer in this area. And so that's what I teach people. Just right here, and then on the left side in this area. So I'm just gonna play this track, and I want you guys now to look in the software, and we took the key lock off in the last video, so you'll actually hear it as well. I'm going to do the same technique slowing it down and you hear it slowing down. And then when you're looking in the software here, you can see, let's start the track over, you can see it slowing down. So it's a 128 track like it was before and I'm just slowing it down and you can see. So when you're practicing, and if you have DJ software, try to keep it in this, a similar range just to test yourself. And then try different levels of slowness. And again, you can see that all right here. So that is the manual slowdown method. If you wanna learn more, check out the next video.